So perhaps you are lucky enough to have spent the whole day like Muleki, the cat, relaxing in the sun. If not, and you're a little bit tired, here's some simple yoga, qigong, breathing exercises to help restore the energies of life a little. Start, as usual, just with a little bit of spinal swinging to loosen off the backbone and massage the spinal cord, which is also one of the main energy channels of the body. And focus a bit of attention on the breathing. Breathe a bit more deliberately, a bit more deeply. And then take a deep breath in, stretch the arms up. And then exhale, bend the knees just halfway down. Inhale, breathe in, lift up. Exhale, bring the hands down again. And do that a couple more times. The main thing here is a very deep breath. And a deep exhalation as you sink down, bending your knees. Inhaling, coming up. Exhaling all the way back down. And then a similar idea now, but just push one hand up and one hand down. You breathe in as you stretch one hand up, one hand down. This helps stretch the pancreas and the liver in a beneficial way, helping to harmonize the energy between those two main energy generating organ systems. You breathe in as you push up and push down, and breathe out as you come back. And notice the breathing is deeper and slower than it might usually be. The idea is to oxygenate the body and help to disperse that tiredness that accumulates as a result of stresses and strains and Invisible, unnoticed muscular tensions which restrict the flow of energy and prana, as it's called in yoga, or qi, or qi as it's called in the Chinese energy disciplines. And then a couple of simple stretches to open the channels and help the circulation of the energy, the qi, the prana. Stretch up and back. Interlock your thumbs like this, but behind your body. Take a deep breath in, and then exhale, fold forward, lifting the arms up over the back. Take a deep breath while you're here, and then slowly come back up, and breathe in, stretch up, and breathe out. Slide your hands down your legs, hold onto your ankles, and Stretch softly through the back of the legs. Inhale, come all the way back up, lift the arms up. And then into a very simple side stretch. Take a deep breath while you're here. Exhale, come back. All the way over to the other side. Take another deep breath in. Exhale all the way back, and now make fists. Exhale, inhale, breathe in. Now keep breathing in. While you roll your shoulders back, breathe in. Breathe in, breathe in, breathe in again. Hold the breath, this creates pressure in the lungs. Exhale, bring the hands down, then lift the shoulders to open up the upper third of your lungs. You breathe in, lift the shoulders, and then breathe out. And then just relax the arms, swing from side to side. And swing the arms. A lot of tiredness comes from a constriction in the circulation of blood and energy. And so just by loosening the body off and breathing a little bit more deeply, we just give the circulation a chance to reach the places, the organs, the parts of the brain that it gets cut off from as a result of stresses or strains or depression. And now another good breathing exercise. Roll the wrists around. Roll the wrists around. And now, as if scooping energy towards you, breathe in. Breathe in again, breathe in again, breathe in again, breathe in again. Hold the breath, squeeze the muscles of the arms and legs, and then breathe out as you circle the arms towards you. Again, as if gathering energy in, exhaling down, 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 down. And then inhale, hold the arms up. 
and exhale down. Once more, just rolling the hands around, circling the wrists, breathe in, scoop towards you, breathe in again, and again, and again, and again, and again, grab, compress, squeeze, tense the arms, tense the legs, pull the stomach in towards the spine, and then exhale, bring the hands towards you, keep exhaling, move the hands down, 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 and then inhale, hold the hands up, and exhale down, and then to finish off, just rub the hands together, and just give the surface points of your body a little bit of a, a massage, a tap, just tap around the head, this activates all the energy points and acupressure points, energy lines, let me rub the face a little bit. Be careful of the makeup if you're wearing any. I'm not wearing too much at the moment, so it doesn't really matter. If you are, then tapping is less likely to smudge. Take a deep breath and tap the top of your chest and hum softly. Hum. Slightly unusual, but it does help to vibrate the thymus gland, which is located underneath the sternum. That's the breastbone here, and that helps the immune system. So do that once more. And then a little percussion massage of the rest of the body, the side of the ribs and the other side of the ribs, tapping lightly around the stomach, down the inside of the arm, up the outside of the arm, down the inside of the other arm, up the outside of the arm. Just tap on the back, up as high as you can get, top of the shoulders, top of one shoulder, top of the other shoulder, and then just tap down the side of the legs up the inside of the legs, down the back of the legs, up the inside of the legs, and then give the soles of the feet a little bit of a whack. There's a point on the soles of the feet called bubbling springs. It's called that because there's an energy point there that when it's open, gives a feeling of energy bubbling up and rising up through the body. And then once more, a deep breath in, and then exhale, sink all the way down. Inhale, come up, and exhale. Exhale, relax, and just loosely shake out the arms and legs. And there, with literally seven or eight minutes of breathing and movement, you will hopefully feel considerably better than when you started out.